Good morning. I'm Liz Bailey, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in New Jersey, the US. But I'm originally, as you can probably hear, from the UK. Uh, this is my regular 11am uh, um, Facebook Live where I'm going to show you things. Um, today I am showing you the Field of Flowers bundle, which consists of... Oh, that'll be the right way around shortly. I'll show you again. This and this rather cool punch. Those little flowers that you can punch out and put on top of your stamping. Um, the reason I've been showcasing punches and stamp bundles is because until the end of this month, if you join up, you can have the usual fantastic deal. It's the best deal in the catalog, it really is. You get $125 of product of your choice and you only pay $99 for it. Normally, $125 would cost you $12.50 in shipping. No shipping. So we get $125, free shipping, costs $99. You also get a free paper pumpkin, which costs about $22 with the accompanying 10% shipping. And on top of that, you get to pick a free bundle. At my estimation, if you pick the most expensive bundle, you would be saving 57%. How could you turn that down? Oh, I see Caroline's watching. Morning, Caroline, or afternoon for you, I know. Anyway, I'm going to turn you down, and then we will take a look at the things we're going to be using, and then we'll get on with it, okay? So bear with me while I deal with this bit, which I'm not brilliant at yet, but I'm getting better. Oh, perfect. I think we're in just the right place. Fine. So, here's my catalogue, which should be, oops, sorry, uh, should be the right way around. Yes, it is. So, let me just... As you can see, I've used scraps of card as markers. This one is Magenta Madness, um, which I'll be using. This is the set that I am going to use, which is called the Field of Flowers. And it has the matching... Oh, these all get cut out in one punch. Or it's one die... One stamp. And then it cuts out using this. So... That's pretty cool. So let me look at my Missy Moonlight marker. Beautiful colour. And here is the field of uh, the confetti flowers border, which goes with the field of flowers bundle. Okay. I'm getting good at this, Kylie, aren't I? I <laughs> Mind you, you do the same thing too. You pick things and I think, how did I not see that? I really, really should have done that one. Okay, so, um, let me show you what we're going to make today. Got this one, this one, and, yeah, you can see that, I think, yes. Sorry, I'm, I think I put my camera up a bit high so it's hard to see it. So, let's get started. As you've probably noticed, here's uh, one of the new ink colors. Here's Just Jade, another of the ink colors. Misty Mountain. And this one is, of course, the Magenta Madness. Couldn't fit the other three, uh, the other two in, but I'm sure I'll be using them soon. So, if you want to have me send you a packet like this with all the pre-cut pieces, if you place an order of 20 bucks, then I will send it to you. As long as you use the host code, that is, which I'll post later. Um, what else did I want to ask you? Oh, yes. If you could share this, I'll put you into my raffle. And one lucky winner will get a little something from me. Okay? So, here's my first card out of the package. So, you've got your card base, which I remember to actually score. And... Um, burnish before I started so I'm not going to shake the camera. See, you can teach people new things. 
<laughs> oh, and I should say, uh, if my face looks a bit weird and I don't look as if I'm smiling as much as usual, it's because I had some um, a rather long time in the dentist having a recalcitrant um, tooth removed. And in fact, I was there for three and a half hours, if that tells you anything. And uh, although the last half an hour was just trying to fix the crown back. And so the side of my mouth got a bit injured, which means it actually hurts to smile. It hurts to eat too, which is probably a good thing for me. <laughs> Ow, I can't laugh like that. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, I'm a mess. I took off early on Friday from work because I had done quite a lot of work and they do summer hours and I thought oh I know I'll have a nice afternoon I'll do some crafting it'll be great but then the pain got bad and I called my hygienist friend and she got me in um, immediately as in she said can you go now and uh, I ended up at the dentist or the I forget what they call them periodontist that's right so wasn't quite the relaxing partying weekend I was planning, but at least I'm not here now in massive pain, which is what would have happened over the weekend, as you all know. So let's just measure that up. And there is most of our first cut. Just make sure I'm not doing a Tara and putting it on upside down. Mind you, she does it on purpose. She loves to um, mess with her sister, who is apparently, loves things absolutely perfect. So she likes to do little mischievous things when she is, <laughs> when she's uh, doing things with her sister. Okay, so done with Pear pizzazz as well. Oh, sorry. This was magenta madness and pear pizzazz. I like how they look together. So now all we have to do is, um, yeah, just glue it down. It's a nice, simple card to start with. number one. So put that over here out of the way and move on to the second one which let me remind you is this one. Here I've used the ornate floral embossing folder which I think is gorgeous. Pretty sure I saw it first on Kylie's uh, <laughs> Kylie's <laughs> Kali's um, blog, but you know, we all share and share alike, so let's get on with this. This is using Just Jade, which is a beautiful colour, in my opinion, and I eh, almost made a mistake there, it's that way around. You know I'm going to make a mistake, but that's okay. We can fix them. So, some Just Jade right at the bottom. What they've done with the Just Jade. And then we need the little dragonfly. So we'll have one there and one just coming out of the leaves and oh, one leaving. Hang on, I better clean that up before I make a mess. Hard with these A blocks, isn't it? To keep them absolutely, particularly when I've got my uh, 
ink pad not on the table properly. Um, and then we'll get our one going up there. So we've got five of them, which is a good thing. We don't need that anymore. We'll need that later. Right. I was going to use the new um, the new uh, stamping seal, which looks really cool, but I only I didn't have time to really test out how to do it. I think it's pretty easy, but I thought you know it'd be fairly stupid to try out something brand new on a Facebook Live. But so I'll be using it next week. I've also got the. Um, Stamping Seal Plus, which is of Fast Fuse um, strength, apparently. So I loved Fast Fuse, so I'm quite excited to try that one too. So here's our ornate floral piece. I'm going to put that mm, right. About there. And then we need. You can see I love fast fuse. It was my favourite. I still flick, even though it's completely unnecessary. I was actually going to pop that up. Oops. Well, you know what? I'm going to pop it up anyway. It doesn't matter that it's already got some. Uh, glue on, does it? Mm -hmm. And just to keep it propped up, we're going to add this piece. Yes, when you do that on a new or a full thing, you need to hold the ones next to it or they'll want to come and play too. So, there we go. That will hold that up so we don't have any saggy middles. Don't like saggy middles. And then we can just actually throw that piece off. And a few other bits that we don't need a lot removed because it's not exactly Oops, it's not exactly a lot of card to hold on now, is it? So that should do. Oh, okay, maybe one more. Right. So I think that should go um, yeah, about there. Now I've really made it a lot for myself, haven't I? I didn't tie the bow first, so let's see how it goes. So. There we go. Oh, that's all right. Didn't expect that to work quite so well, seeing as I was doing it live. I mean, they usually work, but I figured, hey, something's going to go wrong in that. Yeah. Love this stuff. I mean, it's going to, it will fray a bit if you want it to, but um, it's a beautiful colour. I've got the others on order. Blue dot. So I think they're back ordered. Well, I know they're back ordered, or they were. I haven't checked lately. It'll just be a nice surprise when it turns up, you know. So there we go. There's number two. And I saved this one for last because I don't know why. I love it. It's uh, it just seems so happy, and it uses the punch, which is good. I'm just gonna clean off the misting. Uh, misty moonlight and also clean off without putting it in on the uh, card the just jade because I'm going to use granny apple green for the greens I seem to have a very bad habit of always picking pear pizzazz and I'm trying to push myself out of my little box so for this card we're using granny apple green um, Bermuda Bay and Melon Mambo. So here's the kit for that. Let's move this 
this is for the um, punching, in case you were wondering. So here's our piece. Move those over there. And let's bring in the granny apple. I haven't quite got used to, oh, that's perfect. I uh, haven't got used to stamping from a little bit further back instead of me, I put my head over it. So then we need Well, first we need to put this one away before I put something in it. Let's do that. Or not, I'll just put it over there. There we are. Oh, one of the dragonflies. Um, actually, no, I think I'll do the sentiment first. Then I can place the little dragonflies around it. can do our little dragonflies. Just tap, tap, tap. There we go. I love Bermuda Bay. I just don't use it very often. So happy that I'm actually finally using more of the colours and not getting stuck on the same palette. So, uh, the quail tips, let's put that one up. No, it doesn't matter, but it's, um, so I can fit it into the punch. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so here's our punch, and it's really cool, because I don't know if you've seen one like this before, but you've only got this much that you punch at a time, and what would you do if you needed a whole, a whole thing, you know, more stuff? Hang on, which way is it? No, it's that way. Yes. So I'm going to put that in here. Match it up. I should have had a bigger piece of paper, shouldn't I? But you know, we can cope, probably. You know what? I think I'm going to get a bigger piece of paper. Because I can. And that one's too small. Just bear with me a second. And I'll get a piece. Here we are. Much better. Right. So, let's try that again, shall we? Maybe put it all on the card this time. It'll probably help. There we are. So now, I've actually got it backwards, haven't I? Yes, I have. How did I do that? That's because it goes all the way up. How did I do this before? I cannot remember. having a moment. I'm going to claim it's my tooth pain and the antibiotics and all the other stuff. But no, it's not upside down. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that. that. This is how I did it. So now I can line these up. Yeah, that's how I did it. So you line that up. That's where they were punched. And you now punch that. Which didn't work at all. Okay. You know what? We're going to change it. So you don't need to watch me playing with this. But for right now, we're just going to punch out some melon mambo. Then I'm going to use this and a piece of. to apply some of the some of the little which is what I would have done if I could have oops figured it out. Which arm is off. Still too much glue. Another little baby one. Oh, go. Oh, it's a bit more blue on it. There. Get that out of the way, and this out of the way. So we're going to give them middles with jewels and may end up liking it better than the original, you never know. So, right, so we get our handy dandy thing out with the palette knife and size so let's just apply a few more and you can have one too mm -hmm. maybe I'll do all of them really go to town yes my sister is probably um in shock at the moment. I don't usually do a lot of embellishing. that 
하고 realize after this I'm going to have to play with that and figure out how I did it before because as you could see from the original I stamped them and cut them out yeah. I can't actually see the comments very well at the moment but I'm betting that you're all telling me how to do it. <laughs> Ow. Okay, and the card base right here. And there we go. So, it's re field of flowers cards. So hopefully you enjoyed that and had a good laugh when I couldn't get my punch to do what I wanted. And um, as I said, take a look at the um, amazing offer if you're not already a, a, temp a demo. Uh, um, and if you want to have the pieces sent to you, just place a $20 order and I will send you the card pieces to make that. Okay? Thank you so much for joining and I will see you next Sunday at 11 o'clock. Thank you. All right. Bye.